We begin with that huge rally outside Gracie Mansion. Tomorrow, all city workers face an ultimatum. Get a vaccine shot or be placed on unpaid leave. Chopper 2 is live over the scene right now where thousands of first responders have been gathering for the past hour protesting that mandate. Now, you can see them taking up more than a block on the street. CBS News' John Diaz is live at the scene with more this noon. John? Chris and Mary, yeah, that's right. We want to get you right out here to that protest. You can see all of them right here behind me. As you guys mentioned, the clock is ticking for city workers to get the shot. The deadline is tomorrow at 5 p.m. They are calling this rally their last stand. Before tomorrow's major vaccine mandate takes effect, a last ditch effort for some of the city's finest and bravest. Chopper 2 flying above as they rallied in front of the mayor's home, Gracie Mansion, to let their voices be heard. This is really an absolutely unnecessary threat to uh, the lives of New Yorkers. There is no crisis. Right now, 8% of New York City firefighters are out with fire-related injuries. And one sixteenth of that number is out with COVID. The city says it's ready to show the door to 3,500 FDNY members if they don't get this shot. A high-ranking FDNY source tells CBS2 as many as 20% of fire companies could close and their ambulance fleet could be impacted as well. If the mayor doesn't budge on his mandate, ralliers say it could mean lives will be lost. No other way to do this. We currently have a staffing shortage as it is. But the mayor defending the mandate today, saying the FDNY commissioner has a contingency plan. Mandatory overtime, uh, scheduling changes, there's other, uh, other options they can turn to to address the situation. We will be ready. Um, if folks show up who are not vaccinated, their supervisors will address that. The president of the Uniformed Firefighters Association argues 70% of members have already been infected and have natural immunity, so they don't need to be vaccinated. But the mayor and the city's doctor saying that's not good enough. The strength and the duration of that immunity uh, remains unknown. As the window to vaccinate closes, there's growing concern about gaps in services in other city departments. A state Supreme Court judge denied the Police Benevolent Association lawsuit to halt the mandate and is upholding that officers must have their shots. The union president saying the ruling sets the city up for a real crisis, saying New Yorkers should blame the mayor and police commissioner Dermot Shea. And a live look back out here. Again, you can see thousands of these people still out here um, at this rally. They've been out here since 11 o'clock this morning. Now, the FDNY union insisting that they have been pro vaccine this entire time, but they are also pro choice, is what he says. And the union leader also is saying that over the last two days, they've seen the same amount of volume of people putting in for a retirement as they typically see in one month. We're live this afternoon from the Upper East Side. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you.